Korea's energy ministry says it plans to unveil a roadmap by year's end, detailing its plans to get the country off nuclear power. It's also expected to provide support to the private sector, where some firms will have to make adjustments as Korea moves toward renewable energy. Our Kim ji reports. The Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy says they'll come out with a roadmap by the end of this year to provide the local nuclear energy industry and related entities hurt by the government's initiatives to phase out nuclear power. The ministry says they'll provide ways to revamp business projects of the state-run Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company to incorporate the government's plan to gradually reduce the number of nuclear and coal-fired power plants in favor of more eco-friendly energy sources. The ministry says it'll also include support to small and mid-sized nuclear energy companies and residents living near nuclear reactors and strengthen its safety monitoring of operating reactors. The roadmap is to include plans to nullify the construction of six nuclear reactors that were due for completion by 2030 and revoke decisions to extend the lifespan of 10 aging nuclear reactors. The Warsong Nuclear Power Plant Unit 1 in the country's southeastern city of Gyeongju is to be shut down, while the fate of the Shingori 5 and 6 reactors in Busan will be up for public debate. The ministry says it will prohibit the construction of all new coal-fired power plants and temporarily shut down all seven coal plants that are more than 30 years old during spring season, which usually entails high levels of fine dust. Kim ji Arirang News.